morning. I would say good morning, but that would be a lie. There's a lot of white stuff on my truck. And on the ground all around me. Good thing it's melting as soon as it hits the road at least. You should have seen this all night. Like, I didn't park in those lines on purpose. I parked off on the side in the back because if you park in those lines, you get blocked in. When I woke up this morning, there was truck after truck after truck parked this way. For some reason here at the Kicking Horse Rest Area uh, on the eastern edge of BC in the Trans-Canada, nobody ever parks in the lines. And I think that's because if you do, those lines go so close to that barrier up there, if you do and someone parks beside you, you can't get out. So people don't even bother. So whoever painted the lines on here should have made them much further back. But what do I know? What do I know? All I know is that you don't park in the lines here because you'll get blocked in. People will just park all around and you can't get out in the morning. It's happened more than once. It's... Anyways, how you doing today? We should get on the road. We got a long way to go. Let's see how far we can get today. We got about 1,600 kilometers to get to home. Not gonna make it today. I'm hoping to make it to at least like, uh, let's say somewhere between Moose Jaw to Balgoni. Any further than that is bonus points. All right, well, as the, the sun is getting higher in the sky there and as I'm waking up, the snow is slowing down quite a bit. That's good. I'm not too worried about the roads being slippery. It's not that cold yet, it's just, I don't want the snow to start falling any faster. Diesel, how you doing, man? You look pretty comfy back there. Yeah, man. Okay. I think we're all ready to go. Lights are on, we're in gear, everything's done. Rock and roll. we go yeah there's a spot against the back there that I like to park because like this guy again he just pulled in here too that's how everyone pulls in and they stay like that all night they don't actually use the lines which makes sense because they don't make the lines don't make sense <laughs> so just a heads up if you come to kicking horse rest area if you do park in the lines you may not be able to move in the morning We had a dilemma. That washer fluid I put in this morning? <laughs> Silly me, that was summer washer fluid. It froze. Yeah, so uh, I had to stop and get the inject or the uh, whatever, the, eject the, the ejectors, you know, the thing, the spray things. I had to get them to work again. Uh, they were all frozen up, so I had to just blow hot air on them until they uh, let the fluid flow again. And then I just had to drain the entire washer fluid that I just put in there stop here in Canmore grab a bunch of winter washer fluid run that through the system 
I'm glad that I found uh, that I was close to town here because I couldn't use my washer fluid. It froze up on me and everybody's spraying dirt up at my windshield. Ugh. But that's okay because we got Timmy's. Though I'm disappointed. Canmore, your Timmy's doesn't have espresso either. Their espresso machine was also down. Is this like a British Columbia, Alberta thing? Because if you're taking out the espresso machines for good, you gotta let me know. You gotta let me know, this is important information. I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to get my coffee then. Why so serious, man? This is serious business. Serious business, man. Trucking. This is serious business. I wish I could make it home today. I'm still 1,097 kilometers from home. It's like 660 miles or so. And I've got you have five hours and 13 minutes of remaining drive time. Thanks, random voice in my computer. Five hours and 13 minutes of remaining drive time, but that's only until midnight. At midnight central time, I get more hours because I drove past midnight yesterday. One second. One second. What do we got here? We got a uh, grab. There we go. Okay, so I drove till... What's that say there? I drove till, this is my uh, log book from yesterday. Where does it say start, start? Okay, I, dro I drove till 1.40 in the morning. That means I took an hour and 40 minutes out of today's 13 hours of driving. So at midnight, I get that hour and 40 minutes back. You get it? It's a little different than the US hours of service. They're both really confusing. There's some things that are really confusing about Canadian hours of service, and there's some things that are very confusing and don't make sense about US hours of service. But hey, it's all government bureaucracy. It's all government regulation. You know, they keep piling it up, piling it up. I like the idea of, you know, if you're gonna put a new regulation on them, like find another one or two to remove. Okay, or let's just leave it the same, but they keep adding and adding and adding regulations and it gets more and more and more complicated. And uh, my mom's an accountant. I can't imagine how she keeps up with it. She's been self-employed doing, well, I don't think she was self-employed the whole time, but she's been an accountant for 40 years now, I think. And uh, man, the things she knows, the, the, the loophole here, the loophole there, that one got closed, this one opened, this over here, this goes here, this goes there. You take this income from here and that income from there, you put it over here, you put yourself in this tax bracket over here, blah, 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 blah. It's so confusing, I can't wrap my head around it. I've often told her, like, you're gonna have to sit me down and explain this all to me one day because, you know, one day I'm gonna have to do my own taxes. <laughs> my mom does my taxes for me because she's brilliant when it comes to that kind of stuff. It's what she does, just sort of like, this is what I do. That's what she does, and she's really good at it. So uh, I've never had to do my own taxes. But I, I don't know how she keeps up with everything. It's insane. I grew up, uh, she was self-employed, so she was at home uh, as I was growing up. I, I never had to go to a daycare or anything like that. I was always at home with my mom because she worked from home. And uh, the amount of paperwork, and she's got everything organized. She knows where everything is. And uh, filing cabinets galore. 
it's it's pretty crazy but it's pretty impressive at the same time pretty impressive takes a lot of brains and that's sort of how it is with the regulations on the trucking too everything keeps changing all the time you got to stay on top of it not getting any closer to home sitting around here though though now that we're on the prairies there's very little holding us back you know when you're going through the mountains you got to worry about traffic first of all there's always that one guy or girl who slows down to like 60 kilometers an hour, slows way down for the corner, and then as soon as there's an open passing lane, suddenly their, their vehicle can do 150, right? There's no way you can get past them, but you're always stuck behind them because they slow down as soon as the passing lane's gone. So frustrating. Then you gotta worry about weather and you know rock slides, avalanches, all this other stuff, twisting, winding roads. You don't wanna fall off a cliff and die. Well, now we're on the prairies. And all you gotta worry about is a moose crossing the road at the exact wrong time. And that rarely happens this far south uh, down on, well, yeah, rarely. I think I can confidently say that rarely happens along the Trans-Canada here because it's such a busy road. Uh, the moose have learned to stay away from it, I think, and the wildlife in general. Plus there's fencing along both sides of the road that deters them. If you go further up north, like uh, into a Yukon, on your way to Alaska, up the Alaska Highway, you got herds of massive bison, like 4,000 pound bison, that are just standing in the middle of the road at night. Like a whole herd of them, like 30 of them. So you gotta be very careful. You don't wanna hit one of them. They're, I would say they would do more damage than a moose. But it all depends, because the moose, you take out their legs, the moose comes over on top of your vehicle or through your windshield. A bison is just a big wall of muscle and meat and horns. Like, they, you don't want to hit a bison. They're massive. Timmy's. I've gotten a little over-obsessed with Tim Hortons again lately. I don't know what's going on, but I need another one. We're here in Medicine Hat. I know this is Red Cliff, Alberta, just across the valley from Medicine Hat, Alberta. And I just about blew past this place, but then I remembered, hey. Timmy's. I don't know what's going on. But I gotta have my Timmy's. Wonder what they put in it. All right. With coffee in hand, we shall drive across this land. But it'll actually be in the cup holder, that just doesn't rhyme as well. Okay. We're comfy? Basil, you comfy? You got water? Oh no, you need water. Basil. Should have said something, man. There you go. Just for you. How much water do I got left in here? I got a few, okay. All right. You have four hours and 33 minutes of Gosh. remaining drive time. I don't need you to tell me what to do. How do I get out of here? I want to go that way, but there's a boulevard in the way here. Turn right. I th oh yeah, I can't go straight because that doesn't lead through to those lights. I got to go around the block and that'll take me back. I gotta wash these windows, man. And that window, Diesel, your nose art, it's very beautiful, but it's getting a little bit excessive, man. One of these days you gotta start clearing your own sketchboard, you know? 100 meters, turn left on Broadway Avenue. All right, let's try, let's let's turn left on Broadway Avenue. How about that, Diesel? Broadway Avenue. She said Avenue weird. All right, everybody, watch out. Here we go, here we go, right after this guy. You ready, Diesel? Oh, oh, here we go. Actually, not quite. This isn't the main road yet. They got a new Burger King here, though. That's what Steinbeck needs. Steinbeck needs a Burger King. We got everything else. We, hate, we even have a Walmart. Kind of a tragedy, isn't it, Diesel? Or travesty? What's the word? Tragedy? It's sad that we have all of this, you know, we got a superstore, we got a Walmart, got a whole bunch of Tim Hortons, but we don't have a Burger King. I think Wendy's is being built in Steinbach right now. We even got a Starbucks in town for the elite among us and the hipsters. 
the handful of hipsters we got in Steinbach, they have their frappadappuccinos now every day. But we don't have a Burger King. gauge is at the same level right now so I'm gonna go to bed recharge my batteries and we'll be back on the road tomorrow morning hope you join us don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button see you in the morning <laughs>